Hello there. This is the CIA's corner. Of course, this is where we make commentaries on headlines and stories that are making the rounds in the newspaper and in Nigeria at large. I am Obed Jerry, your co-host for today. You can also be a part of the show. Do well to subscribe, turn on the notification button, follow us across all our social media platforms. Before we delve into the headline for today, let's go for a very quick break. All right, welcome back from that very quick break. The, the headline that drew my attention is the one that we came to hear that the CBN governor has sacked the board members of three commercial banks in Nigeria, um, the, Polari the Polaris Bank, Union Bank, and Keystone Bank. You know, this has been bringing a lot of conflict, knowing the number of customers that these people have. You know, when you hear such stories and you are wondering if your money is safe and even at this time that we know how, 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 how the country is, how hard it is to earn money at this time. Okay, let me give you a quick run, run, rundown of what actually happened. There is an allegation ongoing. We all know, you know, I know that Emefele, the former governor of the CBN, is having an allegation, an issue that is regards, as regards money a huge sum of amount i wouldn't say he's guilty or not guilty because the apex the apex court in nigeria has that to say about that and until proving guilty in court so says the law right okay now we are hearing there's an allegation that a mefiele owns he has ownership as regards these banks that i mentioned not a direct ownership but ownership through proxy indirect ownership and we know what the law states the cbn act rather of the 2020 now before we look into the cbn act of 2020 what it states as regards the withdrawing license and um, sacking of board of members of any commercial bank or even microfinance banks in nigeria let's see something from this angle now it is said that there is an allegation linking a mayfield with these banks but there is also something to note now the CBN governor stated that these banks are not meeting to compliances as regards the rules and regulations governing these commercial banks as registered under the CBN. He said, and I quote, The bank's infraction vary from regulatory non-compliance, corporate governance failure, disregarding the conditions under which their licenses were granted, and involvement in activities that pose a threat to financial stability, amongst others. Now, this last line that says it poses a threat, a threat to financial stability amongst others, this now draws back to the allegation having a MFLA involved. Now, the, the, let's look into the CBN Act of the 2020, Section 12, and it states, Notwithstanding the provision of this Act or any other law, the Governor may, with the approval of the Board and by notice published in the Federal Government Gazette, or print or electronic media revoke any license granted under this act if a bank does the following a says ceases to carry on in nigeria the type of banking business for which the license was issued for any continued period of six months or any period aggregating six months during a continuous period of 12 months b states goes into liquidation or is wound up or otherwise dissolved c says fails to fulfill or comply with any condition subject to which the license was granted d states has insufficient assets to meet its liability e states conduct its businesses in an unsound manner or its directors engage in unsafe practice f states is involved in a situation circumstance action or inaction which constitutes a threat to financial stability now, why I had to read this, this, this act so for all of us to know that the CBN didn't just do, just act unwrittenly like it has been stated in the constitution. So what they are doing is the right one. But, 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 but what is amusing at this point is liquidating members of the board of three different banks consecutively at the same time. 
You see how different in times past we've had when they, they, they sacked the position of board members of one or two banks. This is the first time we are hearing three banks at a stretch to let you know that this is a serious case at hand. Now we are leaving this exact issue to the government since they are handling the case and to the law governing the country. Let's look at it from an angle of an ordinary citizen, a normal Nigerian, a customer of these prescribed banks. I, for example, being a, being a customer of the Polaris Bank, wouldn't I be scared that my money would be at risk? It is something I am wondering. Now everybody is coming to say, if, and, you know, and you know how this money thing, thing works. Everybody is only concerned about, you know, every human is imbued with a particle of selfishness. Everybody is just bothered about, my, is my money safe? Wouldn't there be a story? If this bank is finally closed up or wounded up, would they say my money has, has gone into thin air? And we know that there are average Nigerians that end legitimately, that do not have anything to do with the case of the um, embezzlement of funds. These people are patronizers, customers of these banks, the Polaris Bank, and especially the Union Bank that we know. It has a wide range of over millions, over one, two, three, ten million customers with having huge sum of money in these banks. So let's say it concludes, it comes out to be that there is a trust between a Mayfield and these said banks. Would the banks be wound up? Will these people, these customers, be refunded their money exactly how it is? Exactly, it is pertinent to note that the government and the CBN is doing a great job investigating these banks. But this question that comes to my mind is, assuming a Mayfield wasn't linked, there wasn't a trace between a Mayfield and these banks, these three banks, would there be any investigation conducted as regards banks' um, misconduct and all that? Would other banks be investigated? And would these banks, would, have, would they have been investigated if a Mayfield wasn't linked to this? It is, it is, it is okay to, to, to urge the CBN governor and the federal government at large to, to still look into other banks. There are still issues that they can resolve as regards financial crime and financial instability since there are actually a lot to talk about this same headline. But while we wait for the next move, the next outcome, the next update, we would come back here to discuss, to make comments on what comes out next. For you to get this update, you have to follow us on our social media platforms, subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn on the notification button so that when such updates comes up, you get it firsthand. You can also, if you have anything to add or you have anything contradicting, you can drop it in the comment section. Follow us across all our social media platforms. This is the CIA's Corner. I am Obed Jerry, the co-host for this show. Thank you.